All right, so this is going to be part two of my 24-hour, $24 challenge. Um, we're going to grab the micarta that we made last night and see what how it came out and if it came out uh, at all halfway decent. Um, let me put you guys here. Ugh. There we go. <clears throat> Looks decent. It's a little bit sticky still, like the outer edge. But I'm sure that's just because it hasn't been exposed to air for very long. But this is it. This is our piece of my carter. We're going to make a slingshot out of this. Okay, so we got our piece here. A little bit better in the light. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to use the template, trace it out, and then we'll cut it out. Okay, so we got it traced. I actually have enough room to do two. Um, and I might cut these and just keep them as blanks to use them as a one facing, but I might also just put them together and have a pair. No big deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut inside the black marker line as close to the center as we can without going over the line on both of these. So we're going to take our time. We use the scroll saw. And uh, then uh, we're just going to glue the two faces together. And uh, I'll show you me cutting it out on the saw and gluing it all up and stuff. we got to get it glued quickly, though, because the glue, the two-part epoxy that I have, needs about an hour uh, at least to set hard enough to be able to work with. So we'll do that. I'll show you what it looks like. So now we're going to look and we'll see which sides we like more. So maybe there's some imperfections in the canvas that I don't want to show. And then you can put that, if there was on this side, then we could just glue it like that. So that you don't see them. Um, there's always going to be some imperfections, so you're never going to get it exactly right. But... I think for our purposes, what I'm going to do, I actually like the side that I drew on, so you can still see a little bit of the marker on both pieces. 
And I think I'm going to face both of the sides with the marker on the outside. And that way, it'll give me a very rough line to be able to sand a little bit to before we end up, uh, you know, before we end up uh, using the router. All right, so for this part, we're gonna mix two-part epoxy glue. We're gonna put the two-part epoxy glue in between, glue it up, and then I got some clamps, but also I'm gonna use some rubber bands. And the rubber bands will help stop it from shifting side to side. Um, Sometimes when you clamp it, it'll shift a little bit, and then you'll get something like that. And you can rework it, but it sucks a lot. But the rubber bands keep it really tight that way, so that you don't have to worry about it shifting. Also wanted to, real quick, do a quick caliper reading for people wondering how thick this got. So this is 10 layers of the canvas. It's about 5 sixteenths. scale the rest of it it's a little bit thicker up near the fork 8.2 it's a little bit thinner down here 7.7 .7. but I'm sure this one is the opposite yep yeah it's exactly the opposite so it's gonna end up working out nicely because on one of them, if the forks is thinner and the other one, the handle's thinner, then you end up with the same thickness when you glue it up. It also is going to really help to use sandpaper on the edge that you're going to sand, on the portion that you're going to sand. So I want to make sure the lines, that's the lines. So I'm going to sand both the back sides that I'm going to put glue on. And Okay, so gloves, again, got to get the gloves, then I'm going to take out I always use three rubber bands, so I'm going to take out one, two, three, and put the rest in. Okay. Let's mix our glue up. Now this stuff sets in like literally five minutes, so you don't have very long. Luckily, all we're doing is uh, all we're doing is coating both sides and sticking them together. So it's not going to take very long. both sides with enough on every surface just stick them together like that and then this is where I use the rubber band Okay. 
Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Rubber band's real tightly wrapped around. Glue is starting to come out of the center, but we're just going to try to wipe some of it away. And then, we're going to clamp it. Clamp it here. Here, here the fork, this one the fork. Awesome. And just in case any glue drips, I got one of those floorboards there, so it's just a disposable piece we can toss if we need to. Awesome. We're going to come back to this in a couple hours when the glue is set. And we'll uh, we'll get to sanding and routing. It's been about three hours. This is what we're left with. So we're gonna take this to the um, we're gonna take this to the belt sander a little bit. Clean it up in the with the Dremel as well. And what we're gonna do now is just really lightly sand the edges so everything is flat and flush. We have a nice, really squared off look, and then we're going to take it to the router and round everything off. Oh, man, look at that beard. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go do that right now. Alright, so I have it routed. You can see the edging. I left the fork, the inside fork, a little bit more shallow and the fork tips and the bottom of the handle and I gave the sides a little bit more profile around. But it looks great right now. It's my full-size Yeti design which is uh, my favorite single slingshot. If I had to pick any one single design to shoot forever, it would be this one. So what we're going to do now is sand it up. This is both the best and the worst part. It's the worst part because it's a lot of elbow grease that is going to go into this. Um, so it takes a while. But the best part, because this is where it really starts to look awesome. 
Um, I have a great big bowl down by my feet, and I'm going to put on something interesting on TV and get to sanding. All right, this is sanded up after 120. You can start to see the lines of the canvas. And, uh, oh man, I'm dirty. Uh, that is going to, re it really puts, makes the look of this thing look great. Right now it's totally shootable too. Um, I'd probably take some extra time to sand the tips of the forks, uh, if you were going to shoot it like this, just so that the latex doesn't, uh, get tore up when you're trying to, when you're trying to shoot. Uh, I don't have any 220 that's wet sandpaper, so, oh well, I'm going to go straight to 400. If this came out so nice and smooth, I don't think I'm going to need a 220 anyway, really. I'll just probably end up having to spend about twice as much time on the 400 as I would have. Okay. Sand it up to 400. The layers really start to separate themselves now. But now I'm going to get it ready for the binding post because I did buy those as well. So I'm going to put those as an attachment on this. And how I do that... It's with my calipers. A little score mark there. And on the other one, we're going to do... <laughs> Reset itself. And then we're going to go same thing from the inside. Straight up. So you can see the score mark there. Awesome. And these are the washers that press the band to the fork. What we're going to do is find the find the score mark, find the hole, and then make sure that the washer can sit flat. And then, uh-oh, need my marker. Oh, I got it right here. <laughs> and then we're going to make a dot in the middle. The same thing on the other side with the other washer. The calipers, again, to make sure they're about even distance. All right. So, that's where the binding posts are going to get drilled. I'm going to make a few more caliper measurements just to make sure that I got them pretty close to the same. Oh, they're so close. That's so close. <clears throat> and then we're going to go drill this. We're going to drill the hole straight through. Still only sanded to 400 grit. But once we drill the holes for that, I'm also going to drill a lanyard hole. Although I don't know if I'm allowed to put a lanyard on there because I didn't buy it. So we're not going to. We're just going to drill a hole for it. And then. We're going to come back and sand this up a little bit more. I may try to um, buff it as well so that it can get a little bit shinier finish on there. But we'll see. It's looking good so far. Boom. So I drew a couple of lines on a straight edge across on both sides at the same depth. Came out perfect. So now the binding post, which looks like this, fits right into the hole like that. <laughs> fits pretty snug. I don't want to come out. So now we just have to do a little bit of sand work around the hole. I also drilled out a lanyard hole, which again, I'm going to do some sanding around.
my build for the Sling 24 challenge. My Carta came out really great. These like sort of pink flecks in here are from my buffing compound and uh, I washed the hell out of this thing. I even sprayed it down with some rubbing alcohol and I cannot, absolutely cannot get them out of there, get the rest of it out of there. I also drilled the lanyard hole but I don't know if that's like technically allowed because it would be part of the slingshot so right now it'll be without a lanyard but in the future it will have one I think it came out great 